the ASRock Z690 Extreme. With a name like that, you would imagine that this is some high-end motherboard only for a select few, but actually no, you could get it for as little as $270. So while it isn't the most budget Z690 board in the world, it definitely isn't as expensive as well, especially for the kind of features it promises. And well, it truly is quite the interesting board. Right at the bat, it looks like it does a lot of stuff right. It has three PCIe 16x slots, plus even a 1x slot, and when it comes to M.2 support, it has three M.2 slots, plus even one tiny one for things like Wi-Fi cards. That's actually a really nice touch, one you don't really see in many budget motherboards. And this trend of delivering really like high-end features in a very budget package continues when you move towards the CPU socket, because the CPU can be powered by up to two 8 pins, once again a feature that is relatively new to the budget motherboard scene. But while there may be a lot of pins providing power for your CPU, the power phases are relatively tame, with only 13 power phases going to the CPU, though thankfully they do support up to 60 amps, so the power delivery definitely isn't the greatest in the world, but isn't the worst either. And in the rear IO department, things are also, on the surface, looking pretty good, seeing how every single USB port out there is at least USB 3.2 Gen 1. That's right, no USB 2.0, everything is USB 3.0 here. With one of the USB ports being USB 3.2 Gen 2, thank you again USB for making your name so super confusing for no reason. So those are all some pretty extreme features for the price. What enough could the downsides be? Well, there's definitely several. And while the speed of the USB outback is definitely impressive, the actual capacity for USB devices isn't. Because in the rear I.O. section, there is only five, five USB Type A's in total. And for a lot of people, that simply won't be enough. And most normal people are not gonna need five high-speed USB ports. And things like a mouse and keyboard, which do not need high-speed USB, are gonna be stuck using up the super high-speed USB ports, which could be used for something else instead. It is just such a backward system to me, because otherwise the rear I.O. is absolutely great. It has pretty much everything you could need. In fact, it even has two Ethernet ports, one for 2.5 gigabit and one for 1 gigabit Ethernet. The rear I.O. shield is actually integrated right out of the factory, so you don't have to lacerate yourself trying to put it in. So they think of all of that, but they still manage to mess up some other very fun mental things here. Because this motherboard is basically a budget motherboard trying to be a high-end motherboard but failing to be a budget motherboard, if that makes sense. What I mean by that is that there's so many features that you would expect to have in a really high-end motherboard and it are some great features, but at the same time they forget so many features that are still important in a budget motherboard. For example, in a budget build, literally no one needs two Ethernet ports and definitely no one needs all USB 3.2 rear I.O. What people need is a lot of USB type A ports and two of them could very easily be 2.0 just for your mouse and keyboard because they don't need anything extra. But instead of focusing on adding more USB ports, they instead focus on some features like for example having an integrated GPU holder. Yes, that's right, you heard it right. This thing has a integrated GPU holder, this weird metal bracket you mount inside the motherboard to prevent your graphics card from sagging. So if you do want to feel like you have a really high motherboard and have some really good features but at a budget price, then this motherboard is for you. As long as you're also fine about missing out on some features that come with pretty much all other budget motherboards. And if you want to buy this motherboard or other Z690 boards, then make sure to use our Amazon associate links down in the video description below. And if you found this video helpful and want me to do more, then make sure to check out our Patreon, because even just one singular dollar a month truly goes a long way. And I'd also love to thank my existing patrons, Gavin Burns, Ryan, AKB, Meg Sumner, Shane Allcroft, Lance B, and Connor Gage Clothing. Thank you guys so, so much. Support truly goes a long way. Down there you're just going to find our merch store, our discord server if you want to talk to me or others like this or whatever else really, plus and there's a social media links as well. But anyway, that's what it's, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then remember to subscribe, like, whatever, and see you all in whatever I make next. Goodbye everyone, goodbye.